Tell me when. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to show you guys my empty house tour. I just moved, like all the rooms are vacant. Like this is my first time living alone. So I thought what the best thing to do, but like show you guys like everything before I jump a line and add my spice and my housewife touch. But before I do, let me get a little more comfortable. Hold on. Hi guys, okay, that's better. Come with me. First and foremost, I'm just really excited. I have lived in LA for about 10 years, and this is my first time ever living alone. And this is my first time ever having a workspace to create more videos, to have drag room. It's just like the first time I'm like, June is real. Like she has her own space and like I get to create more things for you guys. So I'm really excited for that. So when you first walk up, you enter the living room. They're on their way to deliver the refrigerator. It should have been here a few hours ago. 2,000 years later. But you come into the kitchen. It's a, I like this space because it's really, really bright. And it has that modern farm feel, which is like my dream house. Um, one of my favorite influencers, Makeup by Shayla. You should check her out. This was kind of like she has the whole black and white feel in her home, which I loved. Um, dishwasher, microwave, stove, and it's just like a really bright space. I can't wait to see what I do with it. I'm going to be collaborating with a few other designers and people like to make this space like my own. And the first room you walk into will be Miss June Jambalaya's. I'm like, can't believe I started drag in 2019 and now I have my own room. Like I can't believe it's such a short amount of time and it's really thanks to the fans, thanks to my hard work, but most importantly, thanks to RuPaul and thanks to that chocolate bar. So. <laughs> We have to give thanks to chocolate. Um, here is where the washer and dryer will go. That's going to be getting delivered as well, which this is, if you live in LA, you know this is luxury to have a washer and dryer. So she's doing well for herself. She's doing well. And you walk down the hall, we have this guest bathroom, which I'm very excited for because I'm a very messy boy, even though I'm a real housewife at times. So I'm happy to have a guest bathroom that I don't have to worry about getting dirty because I won't be using it. And here, which is another luxury thing, I have a guest room. So when my sisters come in town, when I have friends and family come, they have a place to stay, which is huge. And I have a second closet. I've already started putting in my winter clothes and winter coats because Believe it or not, I have a lot of boy clothes as well as drag. So yeah, I have a space for that now. And lo and behold, this is where all the magic, not so magic, magic happens. <laughs> and that is the bedroom. So I'm really excited to have this huge space and my own bathroom to mess up and leave dirty and to take off my makeup and leave my contacts and hang my wigs on the door. Yeah. And this will be my primary closet. We'll just have my boy stuff, things to throw in. I'm actually thinking of putting a bag wall here. So I'm really excited to show you guys my journey on like building a closet, building bags, having like all of this installations put in the space for me. 
I think that's going to be really cool. And I'm just really thankful and excited for you guys to be on this journey with me. All right, here we go.